Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a weekend vlog and Nick has the girls right now. They're out running a couple errands and they're gonna bring me back Starbucks, which I'm really looking forward to. I seriously cannot stop drinking the pumpkin cream cold brew with extra cream. I like, I wake up craving it every single morning. It's such a bad addiction and I do not know what I'm gonna do whenever it's gone. But I just finished doing my makeup and I'm just gonna be doing like a fun pony today. Um, but while I was doing my makeup, I realized that there are a few things that I need to order. And I wanted to show you guys today's sponsor, which is Drop. So Drop is a completely free rewards app that lets you earn points just by shopping at your favorite stores. It's amazing, you guys. You can earn rewards seriously shopping at the places that you shop every single day. I earn the most of my points through HEB, which is where I get my groceries. It even works with Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So when you rack up enough points, you can go in the app and redeem them for gift cards to your favorite stores. You can even redeem one to Nordstrom. So that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the gift cards that you can redeem because there are so many different stores and so many of these I shop at regularly, so it's kind of a no-brainer to be downloading this app. There's something else really cool that you can do on the Drop app, and that's by shopping directly through the app for even more rewards. So for example, if you guys have a Walmart grocery and delivery near you, you can go on the Drop app, go to the shop page, go to Walmart, order your groceries, check out, the whole process is really simple. I wish we had a Walmart close enough to do the Walmart grocery delivery, but we don't. So what I've been using my Drop shop page for is Sephora. And since I need to order some makeup this morning, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. Here's my Drop app. I have 44,000 points because I have my debit card linked to the app. So when I shop at regular places like HEB, it automatically knows that I'm shopping there and it automatically puts those points in my account. But today I'm gonna to show you how to shop through the app. So I need to go to Sephora. So you get 40 points per dollar at Sephora. So I'm gonna shop just how I regularly would and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the checkout process. So I've put everything in my basket. I got some false lashes, some mascara, and um, this new Benefit Brow Styler. I'm really excited to try this stuff. So I'm going to, I usually get samples, so I'm gonna select my samples and redeem my rewards really quick. And it says they received my order. Okay, change of scenery because Reese needed me, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the things you can get with your points. Look, a $20 Starbucks card. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, $20 Starbucks card. So now I have some really exciting news. I've partnered with Drop to bring 100 of you guys chosen at random a five to $25 gift card just by downloading the Drop app at the link in my description. That's important, you have to use the link in my description. Make sure you link one debit or credit card to the app and you'll be entered to win the five to $25 gift card. Look at all the kids we've got here. Well, it's just my kids and um, Braxton. But Vicky has her daughter here who's just a couple weeks, not even a month, I think, older than Reese. And we've got a few of our friends here right now. Um, one of them is from out of town. And then there's another couple here that works with Nick. And then I think, I'm pretty sure that Nick's other business partner is coming over later. So Max and Jess, you guys might be familiar with them. Max and Jess, Vicky and Blair, Tucker and Danielle. And then um, Brian is here, who's one of Nick's best friends. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, hey, hey monkeys jumping on the bed. Come here, come here. I can't go because um, we don't have anyone that's gonna be able to watch the girls. It's all the way in Costa Rica and I'm not gonna be able to go. So Nick's parents are going to the wedding and then my mom and Jace, um, I just don't feel comfortable leaving three babies, two toddlers, and um, Reese. Like, um, I don't feel comfortable leaving them with my mom and Jace because it's a lot, like, even as their mom, it's a lot. So, um, I'm not gonna be able to go to Brian's wedding. Mindy's not here, that's his fiance. She's um, not here with him. I wish she was, because I love her so much. Um, but, we're just gonna hang out today, and they brought some stuff over to grill, and um, the Iowa game is over, I guess, but I guess the guys are gonna probably watch football, and the girls and I will just hang out and chat and have a chill Saturday with friends. They're cooking, they brought food. They're like, yeah, because Aaron doesn't cook. Tucker's girlfriend, Danielle, is like amazing at health food, so she knows all the best things to eat. She can be your nutrition coach. So every time she comes over, they bring like really healthy stuff for her to eat, and I wish that you could just live here and just do my work. 
What do you want? Lisa's no. sleeping. She's sleeping. Did the bees already go away? There was a big swarm of bees right there. It was huge. Grab the few and we're drilling them up. I'm gonna shut this yeah. for a second. Hey! Skyla, what did you put on? Can I get it? This is the most action this kitchen has had in a long time. <laughs> Look what Brian brought me. He brought me this beautiful arrangement. Oh, it even has a fall leaf on it. Is that from Whole Foods? Even better. Trader Joe's. No. The gas station. ATV? Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can I see Kaylee? I almost called her Reese. <laughs> She's so cute. How old is she now? Almost three months. That went by so fast. I know. Oh my gosh. I feel like we were just pregnant. I know. Are you ready for another? No. Is that the last one? Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna make pizza. Uh, I'm gonna make it into pizza. Uh, make this into pizza. Make it make this into pizza. Um, this is pizza. Make it chocolate. Chocolate? You're making me some chocolate? Okay, make me a chocolate patty. You don't have it? It's working? <laughs> okay, make me some chocolate. No chocolate. Hi, Raxton. I'm watching you. <laughs> we don't have some, we don't have chocolate. You don't have chocolate? We don't have chocolate chip. Oh, you don't have chocolate chip? Do you have snickerdoodle? Uh, yeah, no, we don't have that. We oh. only have gummy. We only have, uh, gummy bears. You only have gummy bears? Alright, I'll take a gummy bear, please. Where's the, where's the gummy bears? Oh, it's the dad's <laughs> Do you want to bite in my burger? You, that's not how you eat hot dogs. You eat it from the end like this. Yep, take a big bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Stop recording and re-record and stop recording and re-record 
because I'm trying to get Reese to sleep. It's probably been like 10 times that I've come in here, turned on the camera, and then she starts crying right when I turn on the camera. But I was coming in here to say because, so you guys know Reese is my third baby, and I was just thinking about it when I was putting Adeline to sleep. Um, I was rocking her in the rocking chair to sleep, and I started thinking about me as a first-time mom versus me now as a third-time mom. So as a first-time mom, um, since everything was so new and scary, I didn't really like ever like savor any moments. I feel like when Skyla was a baby, it just slipped by so fast because I was always just wanting the next milestone to happen. I was always waiting to hit that next you know, step with her. And I would kept always saying, oh, I can't wait till she does this. I can't wait till she does this. And I was also much more strict about sleep. So I decided to do sleep training with Skyla. So she had to self-soothe. She, um, I didn't ever rock her ever to sleep. Um, I never like sat next to her until she fell asleep until we transitioned to a toddler bed. And that was once Adeline was already born. And once Adeline was born, I knew how fast the newborn stage slipped by and like the baby stage slipped by. Um, and so I tried to save her moments a lot more with both of them at that point. But with Adeline, like I used to soothe her to sleep, nurse her to sleep, soothe her to sleep. Sometimes I would rock her to sleep. Um, we kind of stopped for a while because I wanted to do sleep training, um, but we're, we're back to rocking her to sleep. And when my mother-in-law is here, she rocks Adeline to sleep. And now that Adeline can talk, she's asking to be rocked to sleep. So like tonight, she said walking, walking, meaning like rocking. She wants to do the rocking chair. So when I went to put the girls up to bed tonight, because Nick's friends are here, so I did the whole nighttime routine tonight so he could hang out with them. His friend Brian is, in, is here from out of town, um, but I already said that. So she wanted to be rocked, so I rocked her to sleep. Then when I tried to transition her to the crib, she woke up, so I laid down in, or not the crib, the toddler bed. I laid down next to her until she fell asleep before I left. And like, I was just thinking about the old me, like when Skyla was little, like I never would have done that. Like if she would have fallen and woken up, I would have probably just been like, okay, honey, you have to go to sleep. Okay, mommy, like has to go. Um, and now as a third time mom, oh, do you hear that? I hear a little, hold on. I like want those moments so bad and I, they make me so emotional. It's probably too because I'm postpartum and I have a lot of hormones. However, speaking of that, I have to say that taking the postpartum reset vitamins and like a postnatal has really helped me um, with my emotions. But um, I like crave these moments and any time that I can just like slow down with them and like just hold them and just have like a moment with them. It's so... Guys, I've been... This is sound crazy because some of you guys have like much older kids. So to you guys right now, I'm in like the dream phase with the toddlers and the babies. And I know I am. And every time a mom says, I miss when my kids were that age. Or they look at me and they say like, oh man, savor that because it goes way too fast. It's like my heart like rips out of my body because I know, I know. And I have a freaking six week old right now and I'm so... I know I'm so much. I'm gonna like cry right now, but oh, man, I just see time going by so fast, and like the weeks get so hectic. I pile so much on my plate, and the weeks get the weeks like if this was like a weeknight and Adeline wanted to be rocked, like it wouldn't have been as easy for me. Like say Nick was out at work and he couldn't be home to watch Reese so or like hold her so that she wouldn't be crying while I was putting Skyla and Adeline down. I wouldn't be able to just spend all that extra time like rocking her to sleep or spend the extra time with the girls because I have three. So I have to spread my time throughout between them. But I'm like, now I'm losing my train of thought, but I just, Every time I look at Adeline, and she's still such a baby, because she's not even two yet, so she's still such a baby, it blows my mind that I I, I have two babies, because Adeline to me, she's she's a toddler, but she's such she's she's still my baby. And Skyla seems like such a big girl. Skyla to me doesn't even seem like a little toddler anymore. She's so smart and so advanced. Like she seems just like a little girl now. And I know it just feels like yesterday I was pregnant with her and I just, 
I have been getting the number one thing that's been making me emotional lately is time passing. And what I was saying earlier is like some of you guys like have kids that are teenagers and kids that are much older. So this to you sounds probably crazy because you're like, enjoy that because it goes by so fast, right? And that's, instead of being sad and emotional, I'll be like happy because I'm in that phase right now. I'm in like the best phase and we still want to have one more baby. So I still have a lot of baby left in my life, but I watch, I just watch the, watch how fast it goes by and I watch it slip out of my hands a little, little by little. I am hormonal. I am so postpartum hormones. But I wish I could just bottle it up and save the innocence forever because there is nothing, like there's nothing in the world like holding a baby, your baby. It's, it's magic. And one day I can't, I won't be able to do that. And I fi I've been fixating on that a lot lately. And moms go through a lot postpartum. So this is probably has to do with that. Um, everyone when they're postpartum deals with it differently, deals with the hormones differently. But this has been the one thing that I can't, like, I like will dwell on this thought. And it's, it's so funny because it's so, it's so contradictory because instead of dwelling on this thought, I should just be enjoying the moment. But here we are. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. And I also wanted to say, if you are a new mom and you feel like you just don't know what you're doing and you don't have it figured out, me with Skyla as a newborn versus me now is like two totally different things. I'm so efficient now. With Skyla, I was so inefficient and I did so many things wrong. And I look back and cringe at me as a mother with Skyla. But now, like, I feel like I have it so down. I am like, <sighs> hold on. So where I was going with that is if you're a new mom and you don't know if you're ever gonna get it together, I think that you should give yourself a break and give yourself some time because I think with time comes so much confidence in parenting. And even though I'm still doing, I'm sure I'm still doing a lot of things wrong, even though I feel like I'm doing everything pretty well, we all have our moments. And so don't be too hard on yourself with mom guilt because you have to learn. You have to make mistakes to learn. And I don't know why I'm wanting to give this big speech tonight, but I feel like I have three kids and there are probably a lot of moms on here who are new moms who are stressed and just cut yourself some slack because just give it time. You know, it's like practice makes perfect and in no time you're gonna feel so much more confident and it's gonna get better. If you're struggling, I promise it's gonna get better. Guys, my office like is such a joke. The amount of stuff that's piled up on this desk is, well, Nick and I share this office, and so the amount of stuff that's piled up on this desk is truly, like I can't even show you. I can't even, well, I can't show you for a couple reasons. One, because there's like tons of our documents just like laid out everywhere, but at the same time, like it's embarrassing. I haven't done anything to this since we moved in. Like I'm just now, I probably got crumbs on my face from my breakfast sandwich. I'm just now like starting to work on the rooms in our house. The only room that I've like, really really worked on is Adeline's which I'm I love Adeline's room so much but that's the only room that I've really like put effort into that the rest of the house like I haven't done anything to I organized the pantry and I've started working on our room our room makes me so happy to walk into now and when I finish fully decorating I'm gonna do a video showing you guys everything in our room like where I got everything where I got my inspiration from which I got a lot of my inspiration from my Texas house I love her Instagram feed if you guys don't follow her like I bought the same rug that she has and then she had like a bench across the front of her bed that I bought one that's the same brand it's not the same bench that she has she had a rectangular bench and it's sold out so I got one that's like a semicircle and it is so cute but the one that I got is tan and I didn't realize that the tan up against my headboard which is gray would clash so I'm gonna be moving the tan one into the guest room and using that one in there and then I ordered an, a gray one to go in our room because I think it'll look a lot better but like I said once I get all that done I will do 
a video showing all the items that I put in our room and where we where I got them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.